Well, our, our city attorneys have said that this is not an easement. This is not an easement. That has already been examined by our city attorney's office, and it's not. All right, the green line, that's the boundaries of the park, okay? See how it goes all the way out to the street. These are the official boundaries of the park. But you don't know if this is the actual No, I'm going to have to check this one now because I, I thought that was uh, okay. public. I can't say that, that that is the official, exactly the thing, because I don't know myself. Exactly. I just told you this is the map we used. One of those is probably a parcel line, um, so that includes ownership. Um, but one of them may be a maintenance boundary. Um, and especially if it like goes to a curb or something like that, that includes right of way. But a lot of times we maintain tree lawns within the right of way and things like that. So we are here on March 17th, 2016, for a trial. And this is uh, against David County Montgomery. Is that you? Yes. All right. I am going to find the defendant not guilty and find that there is a reasonable doubt about whether he was within the park boundary. In order to force that curfew violation that the, what the code requires is that uh, it's an area that's designated and posted as a park. Go ahead and call the case of 15 and 2608, People versus William Montgomery. So when you had uh, checked with the city to determine park boundaries, who did you check with? Uh, I speak with uh, Ranger Bud Brady Hoff with the Parks Department. Okay, so is there any um, conversations that you ever had with the city attorney whatsoever on this topic? During that week? No. Uh, Again, no, I had no need to speak with anyone else other than the Parks Department. They have the ultimate authority and, and official maps of the park boundary. Sergeant Giddings gave these warnings, one, because maybe the, sure, there, it, the signs do not say sidewalks close, and it would be utterly unfair um, in the absence of any sort of notice for people to be ticketed for being on a sidewalk that doesn't say that it's closed. There's no confusion about the warnings that he was given. The only confusion that is occurring is being injected into this situation by Mr. Montgomery. We, the jury, find the defendant, William Kent Montgomery, guilty of count number one, unlawful conduct on public property. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, that's an actual parcel So line. somebody has drawn the park incorrectly. With, exactly. That's exactly my point, was that line isn't necessarily supposed to be yeah. there. Uh, but basically, you guys aren't the official source of boundaries of park maps is kind of what I'm trying to get at, because that's what one cop in your city said one time. Yeah, that's so. all pretty accurate. Yeah, just kind of real basic stuff. So, um, well, our, our city attorneys have said that this is not an easement. 